Hey everybody, my name is Brandon. Welcome back to Cine Fashions, where we talk all things media. And I am here today with my 12th entry into my disc replay, buy two, get eight free series. And the fact that I've done 12 of these is kind of insane because this has been going on for about a year now and I have two more piles left to get through. So that will likely be the end of it because my disc replays have switched over to a buy three, get six free, as opposed to the buy two, get eights that they've been doing. Uh, now, they might have something on Black Friday, but I don't know. Uh, actually, my local disc replay, they have had a ton of new DVDs recently, like completely out of alphabetical order in their own section. Just a whole bunch of them. It's been nuts. And so I do have some more DVDs from Disc Replay that you'll see in my end of month wrap up, but those are obviously separate from my buy two, get eight. So today's theme is more family oriented films. So 10 movies here that I am excited to share with you guys. Before we get into it though, if you guys have a second, please hit that like button down below. That engagement really does help me out. But with that said, let's not waste any more time at all. Let's dive right in to my disc replay, buy two, get eight free haul, number 12. All right, so first one here is from 1992, and it's one that I used to watch on VHS at my uncle's house way back when. This is Fern Gully, The Last Rainforest. So this one is a like a fantasy animated film. It's really good from what I remember. It's been a long time since I've seen this, but it has a great voice cast. Robin Williams is in this. Cheech and Chong are in this as well. Tim Curry also. Like a really great vo uh, voice cast on this one, so excited to revisit it and it's brand new. You can see here it's actually still sealed, which is just awesome to find at Disc Replay. So first one here is a family favorite from the early 90s, 1992 to be specific, Fern Gully, The Last Rainforest. This next one I grabbed because I thought it might be one that my wife might enjoy, maybe getting her into the Muppets a little bit because she's a big Wizard of Oz fan. Well, this is the Muppets Wizard of Oz. Now, this is one that I am really excited to check out because I'm not the biggest Wizard of Oz fan, but I really do enjoy the Muppets. So I figured maybe this will be fun for me too. This, of course, has Dor uh, Ashanti in the role of Dorothy, but then you have Queen Latifah, David Allen Greer, Jeffrey Tambor. Quentin Tarantino is in this as well, which is just ridiculous. So yeah, looking forward to checking this one out. And I actually didn't notice it at the time. This is full screen, but I'm guessing you don't have another option with this one. I don't think this is on, well, I can't imagine this is on Blu-ray in the right aspect ratio, but I have to look that up. But yeah, so I decided to go with this one anyway, even though it is the full screen version of it as opposed to a widescreen. But a lot of these older Disney DVDs like this only were released in full screen for whatever reason. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm sure it'll be fine. This is The Muppets Wizard of Oz from Disney. Next up is another one from my Scooby-Doo collection, which is quite large for what it is. This is Chill Out Scooby-Doo, of course, an original movie. And basically, we're following the, the group of gang, or our gang here, I should say, as they go on a ski expedition when it turns out the abominable snowman is after them, and so they have to track them down. But yeah, it looks like a lot of fun. Anytime I can add to my Scooby-Doo collection, I will always do so, especially for these low prices. So yeah, this is one I've yet to see from Scooby, but I love these characters. Characters, so I'm sure I'm going to enjoy this. This is Chill Out Scooby-Doo. Next up is a, actually it's called a franchise collection and it's a movie that I used to absolutely love when I was younger, the first and second one, but then I never ended up watching any of the others and I honestly don't even know if this is all of them at this point, but I now have at least the first five Beethoven movies, which is awesome. This is the Pooch Pack. So Beethoven, of course, is our big giant St. Bernard dog who gets into all kinds of mischief. It's amazing. I loved these movies when I was younger, so I'm really excited to revisit these. I'm hoping my daughter will get into these as she gets a little bit older because I used to love them. So I'm really excited for this. So yeah, all or I don't know if again, if it's all of them or not, but it's the first five at least. And so, yeah, very cool. Five movies in in one package here for whatever it is, like 67 cents. That's insane. So I'm very happy that I was able to find this one. And as soon as I saw it, I knew it was coming home with me. This is Beethoven, the Pooch Pack. So Beethoven one through five. 
So these are all family movies, but even with Beethoven, you're getting into a little bit older than the first few there. Um, and this one is big. So of course, the Tom Hanks movie. And this is one that I was shocked I didn't have in my collection already. But I actually, I think I have a pop figure from this movie up on my uh, shelf over here. But for whatever reason, I just didn't have the movie in my collection. I love this film. Of course, uh, our, our main character ends up, you know, making a wish that he's older. He wakes up the next day and he's big. And that's the whole title of movie and so he has to you know do all the adult things that we do and it's just a lot of fun it's just a really good uh you know kind of teen comedy but not teen sex comedy that's not what it is at all it's very 1980s and it's fantastic so i love this one this is tom hanks in big these next two are part of a series that I've been trying to find on Blu-ray, but I've just, I've not stumbled across them at all at my local disc replay. So I said, forget it. I'll just go the DVD route with this, mostly because this is a really cool edition of this. This is The Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe. And you can see this is a, what is this edition? This, oh, just a special two disc collector's edition, but it has a really cool slip cover on it that folds out. And it is, where is it? I think it's, uh, what am I doing here? Let me, let me, try, let me try to figure this out. Oh, that's right. Here it is. <laughs> it comes out this way and it's the closet door with Narnia behind it. Like that's awesome. And so I saw this one and thought to myself, you know what? Since I'm not finding the Blu-ray, just pick up the DVD. So I did. And then I was also able to find just the standard edition of the Voyage of the Dawn Trader. So I already have Prince Caspian over there on Blu-ray. So now this means I have the entire Chronicles of Narnia series in my collection, which I've been trying to complete for quite a while now. So these are ones that when I actually get around to watching them, I will probably upgrade them to Blu-ray if I enjoy them. But in the meantime, I figured this, this will be you know sufficient for me to at least watch them. And this is just a really cool release of it. So I was kind of all about that anyway. Tons and tons of special features on that disc, which is awesome. Now, Chronicles of Nar or uh, I'm sorry, yeah. Yeah, well, Chronicles of Narnia, Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe is actually a movie that I have a lot of history with. Obviously, they're all based on the books, but there was an animated VHS tape of The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe that I used to watch all the time when I was younger. Absolutely loved it. And uh, so that's uh, the only kind of my only interaction with that story because I've never read the books either. But I'm hoping that I will enjoy this one as much as I like that animated one when I was like very, very young, I'm talking. So yeah, I'm very excited to add these two to the collection and I've now completed my Chronicles of Narnia collection. Speaking of franchises that I just have not spent enough time with, that brings us to the Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. And this is number one in that series, of course. And this is a two-disc special collector's edition on DVD, yes, but has a ton of special features with it. So then I just kept going. This is Dead Man's Chest, which is number two in the franchise. Another two-disc special edition with just a ton of special features on it. And then finally, I was able to find number three, at World's End, which of course I said number three, and another two disc limited edition with again, just a boatload of special features. So these all came, like they just look really great. Not only are they all in good shape, but the slip covers on these are fantastic. I have no idea if there's a like similar themed slip cover for the first one, but I, I couldn't find it if there is. And frankly, I don't think there is given what I was seeing there. Uh, but really excited to have these. Now I've mentioned it before. I put on the Pirates of the Caribbean when I was with my buddy in undergrad many, many years ago. I fell asleep because I wasn't liking it and I just never went back to it ever over the years. And so I figured, you know what? Buying this series on DVD will be a cheap way to kind of revisit it and see if maybe this is a series I enjoy or not. So that's what I ended up doing here. Now, I'll admit, I've had these in my hand on Blu-ray since purchasing these like multiple times. So I'm thinking, do I want to watch these for the first time on DVD or should I just upgrade to the Blu-ray? But honestly, like I, I always put them back because I'm telling myself this will be fine. Make sure I like them since I spent, you know, 67 cents a piece on them. Make sure I like them before I drop five bucks a pop on them. It just, it makes sense. So that's what I'm going to do. I plan to watch these relatively soon because I really want to give this series a chance. So I had the first three. Is there two more left in this franchise? Is that right? There might be three. I can't remember. But yeah, just I'm very happy to have these. And I actually have all of the junior novelizations of this entire series as well, which is pretty cool. So I'll have to couple them together. But yeah, so anyway, 
I'm rambling. Pirates of the Caribbean, the first three films, all in two disc special edition sets, which is always fun to find on DVD. And those will wrap up the this stack of 10 that I've grabbed from Disc Replay for buy two, get eight free. All right, so there it is. 10 more releases for the collection, but a heck of a lot more than 10 movies with that Beethoven collection on there, which is just awesome. What would that be? I guess that would make it 14 movies for $6.66. Like, that's remarkable. But anyway, guys, let me know down in the comments below, which of this pile have you seen? Are you guys big fans of the Pirates of the Caribbean series? Should I give it another chance? Or maybe was I right about it on my first fall asleep viewing of it? Uh, but let me know what you think about that one and anything else down in the comments below. I really do appreciate all that support down there. So thanks so much for that. But as always, guys, if you did enjoy this one, please hit that like button down below. That engagement really does help me out. And like I always say, I don't just talk movies. I talk all things media, be it books, movies, video games, graphic novels, manga. If it's media related, I'm interested in it. And if you are too, you might consider subscribing. Subscribing. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for today. I just want to say thank you all so much for watching this one, and I want to encourage you to consume some media today. I'll catch you next time. <laughs> <laughs>